I feel like I'm supposed to call the young people like up to age 35. 35 and down. Doesn't matter how young. But 35 years old and down, I want you to come up front. And don't worry, I won't make you do anything weird. You don't have to be afraid. But I would just feel like you need to come to the front right now. I know. So awesome. So squish in. You're going to have to squish, squish, squish in. Make room. Wow. That's so awesome. Man. That's right. Okay. Now, I declare over myself all the time that my youth is being renewed like the eagle. So, if you're not up here, you just declare that over yourself right now. And I just feel like um, that I am to call this generation um, to purity and passion. I feel like God says purity and passion over you. And I feel like you today, if you haven't already known this, you're going to know it today. Like today... You're called and commissioned. You are called and commissioned, and the day is now. It's now, it's now, it's now. It doesn't matter if you've known the Lord for one day or all your life. It's now, it's now. You are called and commissioned. And even that video this morning about the kids climbing the wall, I just feel like you're climbing higher. You're gonna climb higher and you're gonna be anchored deeper. And I feel like some of you this morning are going to lay something down right now because you get it. Like you really get it that you're called and you really get it. You're commissioned and you really get it that it's about purity and passion. And there are things that are not in purity that you need to lay down right now. And you need to receive the passion to overcome. You need to receive the passion to climb higher and you need to receive the passion to be the generation. The Lord says, this is the generation of those who seek me. It's you, it's you, it's your generation. It's our generation also, but you now, no matter your age, you are called and commissioned today. And you need to lay some things at the altar right now. And if that's you, you just need to go ahead and do it right now. You don't wait. Don't wait till the end of the service. Don't wait till I'm finished talking. You lay what it is down. If the Lord is saying, lay that down, you are not called to that. The Lord says you're not called to that. You're called to this. And you're called to run in purity and passion. You're called to preach the gospel. You're called to pray for the sick. You're called to raise the dead. You are called to pray prayers of deliverance. You are called to be a voice. You are called today. You are called. And I feel like those of you who are not up here, the 35 and overs, I feel like that the word of the Lord today to our generation is, will you release the inheritance? Will you release the inheritance? Are you going to hold on to it and take it to your grave, or are you going to release it? And I feel like that there are some of us over 35 who you think you don't have an inheritance. You think you don't have anything to give. And the Lord says, every one of you has an inheritance. And I feel like you are called to cheer this generation on. And I feel like that you have impartation for them. And I feel like that God is telling you right now that you have a mandate to release your inheritance. And I feel like some of you who are over 35, it's just a matter of saying to a young person, keep going, keep going. And sometimes it's a matter of saying, no, don't go down that road. Don't go down that road. Like you're, you're helping steer them. You're cheering them on. You have something to give. And I feel like as young people, you need to be asking older people to pray for you. Like don't be afraid and don't think they don't have anything to give. Go ask them to pray for you. And when, 
over 35 year olds if somebody comes and asks you then you need to pray over them you need to have coffee with them you need to cheer them on and I've just been so impacted by one of my heroes Mary Houston who is 80 something and she has been she's coming to convergence school she's she's been in this church longer than we have and she's going to discovery group like she is just going for it victor and kendra belfi are retiring and they're like going for it. they're going all over the world they're going to do medical missions maybe you want to go with them sometime and help them out like those of you who are 35 and over like you're also called and commissioned and so there's just a mandate right now i feel like that you need to take your place in pouring into young people you need to go to chris and amber and say i want to help with fuse you need to do whatever god is telling you to do but we are absolutely called to release inheritance over this generation and so god i thank you for that i thank you for courage I thank you for courage, God. I thank you for courage for these young people. I thank you for courage for them to stand up for what they know is you, to take a stand, to not be afraid, to take a stand for purity, to not be afraid, to take a stand for passion, to not be afraid to say the name of Jesus to their friend, to not be afraid to ask an older person to pray for them, to not be afraid to do all that's in your heart. Do all that's in your heart. So I just thank you, God, for what you're doing, and I just thank you that you're gonna keep doing it all through the service. So I really thank you guys for coming up here. Like, it, it just makes me feel younger just having you up here. Like, it's hard to go past, okay. You're awesome. Okay. Yes.